Jones Beach, Brian and John Byers Band, just pre sound check. I'm here with Hugh Gilmartin from the Adario. 70s hardtail, hardtail strap with a completely useless micro tilt. Right? An old three bolt neck. Used. Nobody ever used three bolt neck, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, well, check out the, the color ones. on that one. Huh? Check out the color on that. It's nice. Isn't it? Beautiful. It's just like a, it's like a, kind of got a bit of a gretch vibe about it. It's solid in the middle, like a 335. And you're obviously a fan of the Duesenbergs. I love it, yeah. It's got the, some of the best made guitars in the world. Three. That's okay, go ahead. Had a bad batch of them. That's fucking sweet. Uh, funny one, I put this together from, from bits and pieces, warmer parts a while ago. This has got Seymour signatures on it. Two great pickups for hmm. uh, One. Two. Three. This is made by a friend. Three. Four. Five. This is made by an English guy Six. who lives in France. I'm sure he does. Seven. Come by. Eight. This is a 1970 Les Paul Deluxe. When I bought it, somebody said it all the a guy in a punk bag, so you can't have a gold. <laughs> so I had this really done with the, you know, with the proper, proper flat. You buy a pot of paint and then you get some powder. You have to mix it for ages. So it's a good job. A friend of mine, Dave King, did the gold on that. Wow, it's beautiful. It's a, yeah, it's nice. Uh, using both double cap with, with the bender, the, uh, with the um, thing called a multi bender, which is the uh, like a palm pedal. You can have as many as these as you want, and they work really well. The lightest flying V in the world. <laughs> Wonderful instrument and weapon. Yeah, I bought this recently, just loved it. It's just played great. It's a 70s one, it's got Lindy Fraylins on it. Uh, the next big rifle on it, but it's fixed all right. And it's light as a feather. It's ridiculous. But it sounds great. Right. And I like Martin D18, which is wow. a bit of a special guitar. Chrissy Hine gave it as a guitar. Wow. When I was in Pretenders. Very kind, very kind of it. This is a lovely guitar. So that's been around the oh, block with it. it. My son knocked it off the sofa about 10 years ago. Because the, the reason these sound so good is because they're so thin. Right. So they crack very easy. So you've got to crack. It's so patched up on the inside, you know. Is your son still with us after doing that? So all these guitars sure keep uh, poor George here on his toes, huh? Yeah, I play a little guitar. <laughs> a very little guitar. Yeah. <laughs> so string-wise, you were using all sorts of different gauges, uh, you know, as for the needs of the guitar yeah. and so on. Yeah. Mostly 1149s on the electrics, XLs, nickel round, uh, 10 to 46s, depending on what body preferences. There's a couple of guitars where I like, I like tens. I never, haven't used tens for years and years and years. And a couple of guitars that I took, that, that flying V for some reason is great with the tens on it. So it obviously likes having tens on it. And of course, it's a bit of a holiday for me to play with <laughs> Maybe tens, you know, but you know, they're not that, it's not that it's different. And then we use what 12 to 12 to 52, 53 is it? The top, yeah, the on, there. on the acoustics, yeah, yeah. Plastic plus the bronze. Yeah. And then I've got some tape rounds on that on the Jusenberg with the double with the, the uh, multi band. 